Today I'm going to show you how to design a CD label or a DVD label using Photoshop CS5. Okay, let's get right to it. Bring up your browser. You will first need the template. www.newsiberian.com slash download slash regular size dot zip uh, that's the website that I go to to get them uh, there are other ones out there on Google if you want to search them so from here I hit enter as you can see I've already tried downloading it before but I needed to re-download it for this tutorial. Okay, it's the only zip folder in your downloads pro uh, so section. So I click it and drag it to the desktop. Extract all. Okay, once you've extracted all, um, it'll be titled 116mm23mm whole.eps. And drag it to the desktop also. Now it had said copy and replace when I was extracting them only because I have downloaded the file before. Um, but it shouldn't say that when you download it. From here, you go to your Photoshop. In this case, it's CS5. You have the file open. And you have to find it, which is right here. Okay, these selections should uncheck constrained properties. Go for 12 inches in width and 12 inches in height. Resolution should be at 300 inches or pixels, however you look at it. CMYK color would be the mode. And there's a template. Uh, what I do from here, all this wording here is unnecessary. So you go over here to the eraser tool, and from here you can resize the diameter there of your eraser. You can make it really small, really large. We'll go with that for now. You can choose to keep this on there if you want. I just don't find it necessary. And once you've done that, go to your move tool if you want to. You can also do this. It's optional, but I think it uh, sort of helps to center it. Okay, and from here go to the color picker and like I said it's going to be gray. From there you go to the paint bucket tool. Um, anything on here you can also right click on them and you know you have different options. The gradient tool, paint bucket tool, uh, different things per selection. So we're going to go to the paint bucket tool and not on this part here but on this part right here we're just making the background gray. So then you go back to the move tool, file, now you'll need an image. 
open. So we're going to go find an image here. with the American flag. You need to go over here to the layer and unlock the image. Then you hit select up here at the top. All. Edit. Cut. And go to the first layer of our CD here. Edit. Paste. Now it will show up as very small. We're going to enlarge it. There's a quick shortcut to do this on your keyboard. Go to Control T, and then from there you can resize it. And just make sure it is sized however you want it to be I just choose the edge of the CD there and you hit the move tool and it'll ask you to apply the transformation hit apply now once you've got it here come over to the layers and drag it down to the bottom layer 2 where the image is and there's your CD. <clears throat> now if you want text on it, very simple. Um, make sure your, your highlighted layer 2 with the one with the image. Go over here to where it says T. Anywhere on your CD label. <clears throat> Left click and drag it open like so. very small right now but we're going to fix that another control T now some quick tools that I do with the uh, the text on darker images like this um, go back to the text here I'll highlight it I want the color to be white and I'll go down here I'll right click on the layer go to blending options add a little drop shadow and a little stroke and the color is already at black and you see here if I made the stroke bigger or smaller it gets bigger or smaller on here so just makes white lettering a little bit easier to see on darker images or any images for that matter And then um, you can add whatever else you want on it. So in order to save it, you have to file, save as, you always want to make sure that you save it as a Photoshop PSD file first. Um, Saving it to the desktop. Show again. Now 
Now if you want it as an image, save as, we'll save it as a JPEG. You'll see the extension where it says .jpg. That just means it's if it's a bigger file or if it's the the, the the file size, the quality. Close out, and there's your image. And there's your image. So I hope this has been of uh, use for some of you that uh, didn't know how to do it before. Like I said, it's very easy. Um, feel free to leave a comment or if you have a question, I'll do my best to answer it. Um, and hope, hope this helps. Alright, have a good day.